Hey guys, welcome to the new video. In this video, we're going to talk about Python versus C++ in computer vision. So we're going to talk about some of the differences between Python and C++ in computer vision and when you should use uh, the, the uh, Python and when you should use C++ and talk about some of the differences and some of the pros and also some of the cons of, of both languages in computer vision. So first of all, let's talk about speed and compare to, like the speed between these two languages. First of all, we need to know that OpenCV is the most used library uh, in computer vision, both in, like for researching and also for pr production and manufacturing. So when we're talking about OpenCV, they, they both have a, have a, like a module and library for both Python and C++ and the Python library or module um, is even like just an API that calls the C++ functions under the hood. So we get kind of like the same, same, same efficiency by using Python and C++ if we only use uh, the, uh, the OMCV module that is like that is built in or like implemented in C++. But if we're in Python and we write some of our own functions or like use some of the other uh, Python functionalities, then we will just like uh, miss up the on the time and we will make our program really slow compared to C++ where we have much more control about um, with the time and also uh, with the memory. So when we're comparing speed in C++ and Python, like we we get we get the best speed or like the fastest speed in C++ and also uh, the most memory efficient um, implementation in C++ because in Python we don't really know like every time we do something with for example frame and we store a frame then we will just create a, a, a copy of that frame where in C++ we can have uh, references to act actual like memory locations um, like er actual memory locations where we can do operations on the actual data that is in the memory allocate like in the memory and then we don't need to like do copies and we can just have a reference and then modify the data in the actual memory. So C++ is much more uh, memory efficient and also more time efficient by just writing your own functions and you can do a lot of the different kind of stuff in, in computer vision and trying to modify some of the code um, for computer vision as well. And it will not slow down your program where in Python if you use anything else than, than, the, than like the computer vision a module that is built on top of like C++, then it'll just slow down your program a lot and you won't really be able to uh, create your application in computer vision with Python. If you are if you have a like really time consuming or like uh, real time application that you're going to implement with computer vision. So Python is more like a research or like prototyping language and it's, it's really fast because it's easy to set up and, and it's really simple simple to write Python code. So it's really simple to just set up and keep uh, and, and get something uh, written down fast. So it's really good for prototyping or just testing out new things and doing some research. But if you want to implement something for manufacturing or production, like then you should definitely go for C++ because it's just more, it's, it's much faster when you're writing a lot of other different kind of stuff outside of OpenCV. Like you, will ha you, you can't really just have OpenCV do everything for you. Like you need to write some of your own functions and do some other different kind of modifications and and operations, and then C++ will be uh, the main choice or like the best choice if you're doing some real time applications that you're actually going to implement in 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 some product. But it's 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 certainly possible to do some uh, prototyping in Python and then converting uh, the code from Python into C++ afterwards, uh, because some of the functions is actually like the same because they get they get called from the same um, from the same library in in C++. So it's it's pretty good to use Python and C++ for some different kind of applications and in some different kind of situations and, and, and purposes. So you should definitely like start out using Python if you're learning stuff or if you're prototyping. And then if you really need the, the efficiency like both time-wise and memory uh, memory wise, then you should definitely go for C++ and do, um, and do your application in C++ because it will just uh, get it'll just run your program much faster and it will be more uh, reliable and, uh, and stuff like that. So another point here that is really important is that if you're going to um, uh, use Python to implement your uh, computer vision application, then you can actually like use some other uh, modules in Python that is built on top of C++ um, as well as the um, as OpenCV. So if you, for example, had some computer vision application where you need to do some uh, calculations or like operations. Um, on vectors or matrices and stuff like that. Like then you could, for example, use NumPy together with OpenCV to to do some to do some of the operations instead of writing your own functions and making the program slower. Because NumPy is also written in C++ and then built on uh, and then an, a module and or an API is built on top of that uh, to Python. And then the, the functions that you call in Python is actually like C++ code 
uh, running under the hood. So if you're like really thinking about it and you're, you, re you really want to implement it in Python, like it's also possible to implement uh, a really like time, time efficient uh, uh, application or like algorithm or an approach um, in Python, but it's just easier in C++ because it's just a faster language and you can just write your own functions, your own methods, and you can like specify whatever you want to do and you don't rely on any libraries and you will still be very time efficient and also uh, memory efficient. So just to summarize in this video here, like you should definitely go for Python if you're developing, uh, like developing something or you're just researching or doing some kind of like prototyping because Python is really fast and uh, like fast to, um, to like develop in. So it's, it's a really simple language and there's a lot of modules that you can just impo import and then you can just get it, get something up going really fast and then you can play around with it. And then when you know and you have found like a, a solution to a problem, then you, if you really want to implement that in some project or manufacture uh, that algorithm that you have um, that you implemented, then you can convert it to C++ in a fairly easy way. And for a C++ approach, you can also like you can also do research and prototyping in C++ if you know that you're doing some prototyping that you want to implement in the project afterwards. Then you can just directly go to C++ and implement uh, your computer vision application and or like in algorithm in C++ to start with. But it's just a bit slower uh, to get started with, and it also like takes a bit more time to have this time efficiency. And you also need to take take care of the memory by not copying all like the frames and, and images that you. That you're doing, that you're doing operations on, like you need to have references to, um, doing actual like operations um, with the memory. So there's some different kind of uh, cons and pros for for both languages, and it's really up to you. But I will definitely recommend Python for development and research, and then C++ for production and manufacturing, and they can easily be converted from the one from from one of the languages to the other. So it's really just like preferences, and you just need to like take into account what, what is really needed for your application and then choose one of the languages and then go for that and then convert it to another um, if that's necessary in, in the future. So that's it for this video guys. I just wanted to make this video here to tell you some of the difference between Python and C++ when we're talking about computer vision because I've not done this tutorial here in C++ but it could easily be done in Python as well. And a lot of the functions has the same name for, for both Python and C++. So you should, you should be able to follow along the, and this tutorial that I've made uh, in Python as well. But this was just to like summarize uh, what language to choose for some different kind of purposes and applications. So remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification on the video. And also like this video if you like the content and you want more in the future. I'm currently also doing an algorithm data structure tutorial um, in C++ and an artificial intelligence tutorial where we're currently talking about reinforcement learning and we're having an agent uh, that is learning by interacting with the environment and doing a lot of cool stuff. So if you're interested in one of those tutorials, I'll link to one of them up here or else I'll just see you in the next video guys. Bye for now.